Hello everyone and in this video we will learn how to open stack traces from external sources and if you are not familiar a stack trace generates when your app crashes because of an error or an exception that has been thrown if you're not familiar I will just force crash my app so I have this my sample app and when I click this button I will simply throw a null pointer exception and the app will crash so when i click on it the app will crash and in the locat android studio will generate the stack trace so i'm gonna go ahead and click here on the locat and as you can see we have this stack trace it's highlighted in red and it's clickable and for example you can see that inside the main activity file in the 16th line or the line number 16 the exception gets thrown and that is cool but sometimes you want to analyze the stack trace shared in a bug report or you may collect it just stack traces generated on user devices from play store or even from firebase crash lytics so how to get the same highlighted and clickable view of an external stack trace from a bug report for example so let's assume that this is an exception i got it from firebase crash Lytics or from google play console how to get the same highlighted and clickable i want to know where the exception happened and where where's the lines that causing this uh, issue so in order to do that, let's go up here into code. Of course, you want to make sure you have the stack trace. So I have it in my notepad, as you can see from here. I'm going to copy it. I have it in my notepad. And I'm going to go to code. And then select this option, unless a stack trace or thread dump. And when I click on it, it will open this window. And as you can see, it already copied and pasted uh, this uh, stack trace from my clipboard. And when I click OK, Android Studio will open a new stack trace tab with the stack trace I pasted under the run window. And as you can see, this is the run window, and we have our stack right here and it is clickable I can navigate from uh, one uh, part of the code to another and uh, it's very useful to open the stack traces like this so you can easily navigate to the code especially if the stack trace is not generated in your machine